Is traditional cooking just too complicated for you? There's gotta be a better way. Do you have severe depression? My wife left me and she took the kids. Introducing the Express 101. You just open and put it in. Cooking's never been easier. It even cured this man's depression. Uh, no, 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 it didn't. I still sad my wife left me and she took the kids. Shut up. The Express 101. Buy it. Because I said so. Yeah, I won't get to see my kids again. Like, it's kind of a big deal. I, I don't, I don't think, a, I don't think a piece of cookware can, can help me with this problem. Good morning, USA. So imagine just back in the early 2000s, you're, you're sitting on your, your TV, your, your four by three TV. You're watching some you know, episodes of Blue's Clues and and Little Bear and Ed and Nettie in the morning. And then you happen to be flipping through the channels and you find an infomercial. Now you don't know what an infomercial is because you're like seven, but you decide to watch because it has food on it. And boy oh boy, your little, your little tiny, little child st stupid brain loves food. So as a kid, I was kind of really enamored with this infomercial for this product called the Express 101. My mom and I would watch it all the time. We'd be like, oh man, it looks so cool. I want to try it. I just, just want to put all the Kathy Lee's goodness inside of my mouth that didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but I'm not complaining and I'm not going to take it back. So this old early 2000s techno cook cooking kitchen thing, I decided to get one myself. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Express 101 It's basically some cooking appliance that's supposed to make things fast and quick and easy like all the other cooking infomercial appliances But this one has one difference. It was marketed by a redhead BBW that we all want to kiss a little bit on the cheeks just a little mm, mm, just a little. Mm. So I ordered one of these bad boys and today we're gonna I got the I got the uh, official GT Express 101 menu -y, instruction booklet thingy and we're gonna try out some of the food see if they really taste expresserific i know this is different from my usual style of video but i mean i just want to try some different you know and if you guys like it i could make more of these hey cooking food and stuff i'm actually really hungry because i've uh, been kind of dieting recently and uh i haven't eaten since breakfast because i did some homework and then i took a nap Life of a college student. So the first recipe we're actually gonna be trying out is an omelet, pretty simple. Just some eggs and some cheese and some fillings. Although I don't have any fillings because I didn't feel like buying any, so we're just gonna make a cheese omelet. Now I was actually gonna take a look at the full infomercial and kind of make fun of it a little bit, but I can only find little parts and snippets of the original infomercial and the sequel infomercial. So we're just gonna have to react to some of those real quick. P play, play that footage, Johnny. It's me. I'm, I'm Johnny. I'm, I'm doing the footage. I think the best way is to just get started. So let's make an omelet. Okay. I've got three eggs in this shaker, which, by the way, comes with the Express 101. Uh -huh. And I love omelets because you can serve them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They just about fit anybody's lifestyle. Oh, yeah, Kathy. You shake that omelet shaker. You shake that omelet shaker for daddy. <laughs> So first of all, all you gotta do is split this egg between the two wells, just like this, and you can hear it Ooh, sizzling yeah. already. Ooh, sizzling yeah. already. You can really feel the sexual tension between these two. There's, uh, you know, after this this own promotion was done airing, they kind of had a little bit of Express 69 in the back of the studio, if you know what I'm saying. You catch my drift. This joke was a lot funnier in my head. I like a full breakfast omelet. I'm gonna put in just a little bit of hash brown potatoes. I bet you do like a full breakfast omelet, Kathy. I bet you do. Now, if you're on one of those diets that doesn't allow you to have any carbs, you're gonna need to leave out those potatoes. But right. in that case, you know you can load the meat in that omelet. So we can put in double meat. Wow, it looks like Kathy Mitchell predicted the keto diet. I don't know if the keto diet was popular around the time that this infomercial was made, but for the sake of the joke, we're gonna pretend like it wasn't. So this one seems simple enough. We're just gonna make ourselves a nice, delicious, Smack tastingly omelet. I got my scrambled eggs right here in this little paper bowl because I don't feel like doing dishes. So it's not paper actually, it's styrofoam. Why do people call it paper plates? They're styrofoam. You rarely get paper plates. 
And we got some delicious uh, cheddar cheese here. Woo! -hoo, woo! Woo! My express was a used express on one, so it didn't come with that little shaky thingy that Kathy Mitchell was seductively shaking over and over in a very suggestive motion that I'm gonna keep doing because I think it's funny. So as you can see here, we've got our ingredients, all that delicious stuff right here. I forgot to mention that my uh, my uh, Espresso 101 actually came with the original little uh, spatula thingy so I could easily lift stuff. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty nifty. We're just gonna grab our eggs here and just, just, just pull, pour it in. It's hard to film and pour at the same time, so I'm just gonna, ooh. You'd hear it sizzle just like in the commercial, wow. And then I'm gonna put the cheese in. Got some delicious cheese here that we're just gonna, we just gonna sprinkle in. Not too much cheese though, because remember, I'm trying to not be fat. And we do like the infomercial says, we just, we grab it and we just, we put it down and then, then we wait. So while we wait here, why don't we uh, why don't we watch more of that uh, infomercial thing, Imajiki? Delicious, mouth-watering, home-cooked meals. Imagine being able to cook amazing meals like these in a flash with just one easy-to-use kitchen appliance that's smaller than a toaster. Well, of course it's smaller than a toaster if you buy a giant toaster. Who even needs that much bread? I I do. I I I need, I need that much bread. This is the GT Express 101. Join us today as Joe Farrago and Kathy Mitchell, America's most trusted kitchen expert. Listen, dude, I know I know that I know that you do this for a living and you're one of those voiceover guys and you're like the, the most trusted people in the whole gosh dang country. But I don't think you're giving Kathy enough credit here. She's not only the most trusted cook, she is the most trusted person in this entire planet. I would sell my entire liver just to get a little smooch on that that little red that that little red hair that she's got there that beautiful curly curly red hair and stay tuned to find out how you can get in on our amazing two for one offer you have to see it to believe it you know i know everyone loves ordering online and everything now but they, 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 you just can't beat these silly infomercials with asking to call a number and they 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 they, they, they threaten to Double the offer if you don't act now. It's just media from a t it's just time that just doesn't really exist anymore. And I'm kind of sad, actually. Well, this is smelling pretty uh, tasty, actually. So I'm going to go and check to see if it's it's ready. This is actually looking pretty Dunsies, uh, pretty Dunsies here. So I guess we'll go ahead and see if uh, if the Express 101 is really super express. And of course, we're going to use our handy dandy scooping mechanism to scoop us out some Delicious eggs. Alrighty, so uh, this thing was actually pretty non-stick, so I mean, it's I, I gotta give it that. That's pretty nice, actually. We've got a we've got a nice, uh, tasty, tasty looking omelet on the inside, real quick. Yeah, she uh, she she looking she looking pretty good and yellow. Time to time to time to taste. Alrighty, we got us a nice uh, big piping scoop of a uh, cheesy omelet here, and we're gonna we're gonna go. Let's 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 do it. Let's do it for the let's do it for the video. Oh, it's hot. Should let it cool. I mean, yeah, it tastes like we put some some eggs in a, and we cooked them, and uh, we put some put some cheese in them. Hooray! Okay, so I won't go judging the whole machine based off this one thing alone. It, this was a relatively easy dish. I just wanted to, you know, try something real, real simple just to make sure everything was working correctly. But next, we're gonna move on to lunch. <laughs> now I love pizza. You probably love pizza, and uh, we all love ordering pizza, right? But who who has the time? I mean, with the pizza, you gotta you gotta pick up your cell phone, you gotta dial a number, you gotta you gotta wait for the people to answer the phone. You gotta if you have an anxiety problem, you probably hang up a few times, then call again, then hang up because you got nervous, and then call again. Then you gotta wait through that automated message where they tell you the specials. Thank you for calling. We're we suck pizza, and today's specials are a whole pizza at regular price and by regular price I mean $25.99 who needs that when you have a, a, a wonderful gadget that's 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 a gift from from the heavens not not me I don't, I don't need that Domino's and Pizza Hut and Papa John's and other places sometimes you just don't want pizza what if you want like I don't know like a like a burger or something too what are you just gonna make your way down to McDonald's and and Pizza Hut you're gonna 
get, grab a pizza and p put it put it on the burger? You're gonna grab that Papa John's burger pizza thingy? Which, by the way, kind of sucked. I tried it. I'm not not a good fan. Not a, not a, not a fan. Not 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 really a huge fan of that. So we're actually gonna be making the uh, the pizza burger pies. It's like a little like a little. Uh, it's essentially a glorified hot pocket. So we're gonna for, so of course we're gonna need some uh, some pepperon. Pepe, this is the HEB brand. Shout out to HEB, uh, best uh, grocery store in the world, even better than Walmart. And you know what? It's a Texas staple. So that means that no none of you other none of you other states that don't matter can get an HEB. You gotta come to Texas. Yeehaw! We've also got some uh, ground beef here that I uh, pre-cooked before filming because I, I didn't want to film on camera cooking beef. That'd be that'd be boring. We've got our shredded mozzarella, some mozzarella cheese. Again, shout out to HEB. They got a pretty good cheese thing going on. And the recipe calls for pie batter. So I was at the store and I asked people if they could direct me to the liquid pie batter. And they looked at me like I was speaking Yiddish to them, and like I was crazy. Apparently, they they actually give you a recipe to make the pie batter. I'm sorry, guys. I, I cook and stuff. I like to cook, but I, I'm just a little bit ignorant on some things. It's okay. It's not like I have a continued history of being ignorant to things. I've never been ignorant before. So instead of our own pie batter, we're going to use this, uh... This Hungry Jack uh, pancake mix that I added an extra bit of water to to make it a little more... Battery. <laughs> Battery. Am I the only one as a kid that thought Hungry Jack and Hungry Man were like cousins or something? What's the deal with that? Got some water here. Gonna take a swig real quick. <laughs> Remember people, always stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. And then of course I have my uh, pizza sauce. I got this Bertoli or, or organic. I got it because it sounded the most Italian. It's 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 not Bertoli. It's 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 Bertoli. And yeah, so we're gonna make us our pizza burger pies. We'll see how it works. We'll see if I made a huge mistake by not using the directions and making pie batter and using pancake mix instead. But we'll we'll see if uh, my my ignorance uh, stabs me in the back once again. Alrighty. So the directions say to divide about half a cup of our topping between each of the little thingies. So. We're gonna go ahead and do that right there. Uh, that should that should work. Maybe I'll move one of these bigger pieces over here. Yeah, I guess, guess that works. It it appears we've suffered a pepperoni casualty, guys. The Express One Hundred and One has taken taken the lives of a few of of a few innocent pepperonis. Rest rest in peace, guys. You served your country well. <laughs> So we got a few of our pepper pepperons here. I guess that works there. We'll put a few of them on each side and we'll just hope for the best. Then we got our petoli and we're just gonna pour a little bit of it on top there. So off camera I went ahead and uh, put the sauce on the bottom of the pepperonis because that probably makes more sense. I'm stupid. Alrighty, we got our cheese on there as well. And the last thing to do is uh, pour some of our pie wink wink fi filling on top there. So I'm gonna, this might be a little messy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop filming and pour, and then I'll show you after. Alrighty, this looks a little dangerous, I might have filled it just a little, but uh, you know what, it's fine. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna do as Kathy Mitchell would say to do, and we're gonna press on. That's something Kathy, 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 Kathy Mitchell? That's something Kathy Mitchell always says. So we're gonna, we're gonna just, yeah, we're gonna close her up. And we're gonna wait a few minutes. Alrighty, while that's sizzling away, kind of scarily, let's say me and you just uh, watch some of that infomercial again to pass the time, huh? Food that's fast and easy doesn't have to be bland and tasteless. That lady's looking at that TV dinner like it just told her it was voting for Donald Trump. <laughs> the GT Express 101's design secret is in its unique dual cooking chamber. It cooks food from the top and bottom. So we now know the Express 101 can transfer from top to bottom. In just a matter of minutes. There's a there's a gay joke here somewhere. I just I just don't know how to tell it. Keeping food moist and juicy and cutting cooking times in half. Just fill the deep wells, close the lid, and that's it. I'd like to fill Kathy Mitchell's deep wells if you know what I'm saying. Sex. I, I want to I want to have sex with Kathy Mitchell. That's what I'm saying. 
Oh, what? Don't act like you wouldn't. And look, instead of this to clean up, just a quick wipe and you're done. Now, I will give the Express 101 this. After I made that omelette, I did give it a quick wipe with a towel and it was pretty much ready to go again. That... That's a point for that's a point for the Express 101 and for Kathy Mitchell. Way to go. Make picture perfect steak roll-ups, juicy chicken, and succulent pork chops all in just minutes. I was going to try all those really fancy dishes, but then I was like, man, that takes a lot of effort. And I'm already cooking beef with the pizza thing, so that's a lot of that would be that's a lot of effort I would have to put in for this video. I don't know if I want to do that. And as part of this special offer, your GT Express comes with Kathy's very own GT Express 101 recipe book, 25 great breakfast recipes, 24 amazing wraps and pitas, over 50 incredible dinners and desserts. That's 101 recipes in all. Now this is a pretty lengthy book. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, got a lot of recipes in it. I don't know if I'd call all 101 super super great. I mean, they literally count the pie batter I was talking about as a, uh, as a recipe, so they're, they're kind of stretching that 101 there. Maybe, maybe they had 100 and they were like, ah, the 101 just sounds so much better. What else can we just stick in there and call it a recipe? Have you ever made pie batter? Think about it. Two of Kathy Mitchell's GT Express 101s for just $39.95, but only through this very special television offer. I guess the people who made this infomercial weren't able to predict, uh, online transactions where I could just buy the Express 101 off of someone else and not have to call a number and wait for it to come in the mail for like five weeks. I could have it here in like a few days from eBay, depending on the seller. A little bit of an oversight there, Kathy. See me after class. But we're not stopping there. You'll also get the Express Spatula, perfectly designed to lift cooked food from the Express 101's deep cooking wells. This spatula thingamajiggy actually did get the job done, so I, I will, again, another point for Kathy for this amazing spatula thingy. And the handy pocket maker, great for pizza pockets. Just place the dough in the pocket maker for perfect Express pockets every time. Oh, what, I didn't get the pocket thingy and I'm making a pocket? Ah, oh, I should have done more research on the Express 101. Kathy, you failed me. I don't have the pocket maker for the pocket. You're tearing me apart, Kathy Mitchell. Alrighty, it looks like this bad boy is actually pretty close to being done, so... I mean, let's go ahead and let's, let's take it out and we'll give it a little taste. I don't know why my voice is getting high-pitched. I'm not sure why my voice is turning into Mickey Mouse. Oh boy, I love Kathy Mitchell's sweet cakes. So I've got a, got the pizza pocket out. It's looking kind of okay. Uh, I got it. I got two different views of it. One on the side it was cooking on, the other one on the side that it was on top. So I'm not sure if maybe I was supposed to put a little bit of batter on the bottom so that it would be a whole like pocket or whether this is how it's supposed to come out. But uh, nonetheless, uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna taste it. We're gonna taste it. And we're gonna see if it tastes good. Just like Kathy Mitch. Alrighty, so we got us some uh, pizza burger pocket with some cheese and some sauce. And we're gonna see if it tastes uh, pretty tasty. I almost dropped my spoon there. We're gonna see if it tastes pretty tasty. We got us a nice good bite here, a bite that has a little bit of everything. And, and uh, we're gonna blow on it so we don't burn our mouths and we're gonna, we're gonna taste it. That's actually pretty tasty. Um, I thought the pancake batter would mess it up, but no, it still actually tastes kind of good. Let's get us a second bite just to make sure I'm not crazy. It is a little, uh, a little soft, but that might be just because it's pancake batter and maybe I needed to cook it just a little bit more, but hey, you know, it's, it's whatever. Probably could use more cheese too, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's, that's actually not bad. I thought part of the comedy would come from me making all these foods and them kind of tasting kind of gross, and it'd be like, haha, Express 101 be dumb, right? Haha. <laughs> but it's, a lot of these are actually not bad. Who knew that if you combine beef, sauce, pepperonis, cheese, and essentially bread, then it would taste really good. I, I would have never been able to tell you that. I'm gonna finish this one little little pie off, off camera here, and we'll be back to make some, make our, make our dinner. It appears I've finished my water, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna get another one. But first, we're gonna try to see if we could we could throw it in the trash. This is uh, Derek's official 
trick shot challenge and we're gonna we're gonna see what happens and we're gonna see how it goes the first official trick shot challenge let's do it all right guys so Derek he's going and he's going in the paint he's, he's got his he's got his ball he's gonna put it in the basket and and he's got he's got he's got got to do it. he's got to win the game for his team he's got to put the team on his back three two one Oh, he shoots, he scores, he did it! Derek's first official trick shot challenge was a success. The crowd goes wild. Ah! My family's actually probably gonna go to sleep in the room a few rooms over, so they're probably like, what the heck is this guy doing in the kitchen? Okay, so we got our breakfast, we got our lunch, but but hey, you're probably asking, D Derek, can this thing make dinner? Why, of course it can, you person. Of course it can make dinner. Now I know you might be thinking, uh, Derek, what, what was the difference between that meal that made it lunch and this meal that's gonna make it dinner? How did you differentiate that? And the answer to that is uh, actually very, it's very, very interesting. It's a pretty complicated answer. It's gonna take actually the next few minutes. You see, I just... And after carrying the one, I proceeded to... And man oh man, do the people of Ireland not like it when you release a wild bull into their streets. I mean, how was I supposed to know that? And that's why I'm a furry. Well, I hope that answered everybody's question, and uh, let's get to making some delicious d uh, dinner here. <laughs> this, th this one's actually kinda, kinda scares me a little bit because I, I don't, I don't exactly I don't exactly know how it's gonna taste. We're gonna make us some uh, chili taco bowls, but the recipe, instead of actually making chili, calls for mmm, delicious, delicious manwich here. The the best chili around. I, I I should know. I'm from Texas, so this recipe, of course, calls for the manwich, uh, some some uh, some shredded cheddar, and uh, Monterey Jack cheese, which I happen to have here as well. And one delicious tortilla, which I, uh, I, you know, I, I wanted to make this special. I wanted to, I wanted to make sure this was authentic. So I went to the most authentic Mexican food place that I could think of to grab a nice stack of tortillas. So I'd like to give a shout out to Taco Bell. <laughs> just, just kidding guys. It's actually from a local Mexican restaurant that I frequent a lot. Well, not so much anymore. Cause I'm kind of trying to diet a little bit or a lot but uh yeah they, they have some really good they have some really good tortillas and just for posterity i'll say it correctly once so that i don't get a bunch of comments saying about how i'm not saying tortillas correctly tortilla so you gotta roll the r you gotta tor tortilla i hope that was enough for all you mexican ladies out there that might want to give me a call just just give me a call we can talk about anything we don't we don't really have to talk about you know like naughty stuff we could just talk about life, you know, how things are going, our goals and dreams, whether you like to be spanked or not. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make us our delicious uh, delicious delicious uh, chili taco bowl with some chili. This actually. So I guess I got to use this uh, can of manwich here, which requires me opening it with a can opener. I How do you, how do you use one of these things? Hey mom? All right, so I've been told that you uh, you open it up, you place it on, and then you turn the crank here. So we're, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna see if it works. That's actually a pretty darn good can opener my parents spot, and uh, they got the seal off pretty pretty nicely with no ed sharp edges or anything. Shout out to can openers. So we've got the manwich sauce here, and we've got a little bit of our leftover ground beef from the pizza thingy majiggy, and we're just gonna we're just gonna use that. So the recipe actually requires that we cut this tortilla in half, so let's do that. Wow, I cut it so nicely. There's not a there's not a single imperfection in this cut. Wow, uh, I actually didn't cut it. I just uh, I just tore it apart with my uh, bare hands. Rar. These things won't actually stay inside the little thingy majiggy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna heat them up just a little bit, just to get a little bit softer. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. I, I missed you. I missed all of you. Now that these are a little bit warmer, they might be a little more pliable, so we're able to place them inside our little thingamajiggy. Alrighty, so we have our nice meat of the slop, and we're just gonna, just gonna pour that bad boy in there, man. I didn't have a crazy amount of uh, ground beef left from the pizza thingy, but you know what, it's okay. We're, we're trying to be a little bit healthier, so we got two little, little small ones instead of two giant ones. And uh, we're just gonna, just gonna let this bad boy cook. Ah, ah, behave. 
behave. We got a bit of a shorter cook time for this, so uh, we, got, we only got about five minutes. So let's let's read a let's read a few of these Amazon reviews. See what other people think of this whole express situation. Top ten Ken writes cleaning. Making omelets, this is my third one, got to be careful when cleaning not to scrape off the non-stick stuff. Well, Mr. Top 10 Ken, what, what what were you cleaning with? Were you were you literally using like steel wool to clean this thing? It, 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 Kathy Lee showed you in the commercial. It's not that hard. You get a towel, you wet it, you wipe it down, and, you, and then that's it. It's not that hard. No, no disrespect, Mr. Top 10 Ken, but don't ever doubt Kathy Mitchell's wisdom again. That's strike one. You got two more, and then I will I will find you. I will find you. I know where you live. Kelly writes in. She says, good product. My daughter-in-law loves it. Well, if this product can bring together a family, and you know, it's typically mother, mother-in-laws and daughter-in-laws don't get along, but if this product can make them get along, I, I think we might have something magical on our hands. Ooh, let's read a negative review, kinda. Josie Jo writes in. She says, has major flaw. I love this product and use it fairly regularly. It's great for heating and cooking small portion items and cooks it very fast. However, its major flaw is the extremely thin nonstick coating that starts peeling off in a short period of time. Like old nail polish that flecks off, it can even be rubbed off with your finger. This company is quick to send you a replacement, although I have been through two in less than eight months. This cooker has such potential to be a great item, I wish they would improve the Teflon coating. So I guess we have a few people complaining that the uh, coating is really easy to come off. I thought maybe Top 10 Ken was, you know, disrespecting my girl Kathy by being stupid and cleaning it with like a scrubber or steel wool. But apparently this lady said it could come up with her finger. I guess maybe I'll make a little bit of an update later as to how my Express 101 is doing and if it's died yet. So, yeah. Alrighty, boys and squirrels. It's uh, only, it's been about five minutes and it was only heating stuff up. So, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and, uh, looks pretty done, so... Guess we'll go ahead and take it out, and uh, we'll top it with some cheese. Says that we could top it with some delicious, uh, some cheese. I just made a mess, so, but we're gonna, mmm, top it with some cheese there. Yum. Don't forget the cheddar. Can't forget the cheddar. And the recipe also calls for sour cream, which I forgot to get out of the fridge, so I'll be right back. Oh, guys, we get a secret exclusive look into the, uh, the family fridge here, uh, where we see some big red and uh, have us a little Coke Zero here because trying to cut out sugar. And if I want to have, have a craving for a soda, I'll grab one of these instead of grabbing one of these. This isn't mine. That's it's, it's not mine. I swear. We have the sour cream right here. So yummy. So we got some sour cream here again. It's a H-E-B brand and we're just gonna do a dollop as they say. I would say do a dollop a daisy, but it is not. It is H-E-B brand. Yummy! Doesn't that look like the most appetizing chili chili taco bowl you've ever seen? Mm-mm-mm, I can't wait to put it in my mouth. That's what she said. Mmm, alright. Do I really have to try this one? I mean... <laughs> alright, we're gonna try this one. Just, just, just for you guys. Cause I like ya. Having some uh, structural integrity problems here, but uh, well, we'll be okay. That certainly tastes like sloppy joe on a tortilla with some cheese and sour cream. I mean, it's... <laughs> That's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I can't, I wouldn't really see myself making this unless I literally only had leftovers and wasn't able to go to the store, which I guess because of the times we're living in right now might be a possibility. But uh, if given the choice to or to not eat this, I would choose not to eat this. That's a big no. Sorry, Kathy, it appears that you've, uh, appears that you failed me again. That's strike two, Kathy. If one more and I'm coming to your house and I'm, Gonna propose to you and make sweet, sweet love to those delicious buttery biscuits of yours. So what have we learned here today? I don't know. <laughs> Would I recommend the Express 101 to a friend, a buddy, a, a, an acquaintance of mine? Possibly. It did cook things relatively fast, and the cleanup's pretty easy, and I'm sure some of the other recipes are better than this chili bowl, but uh, two out of three of the things I had were pretty, pretty tasty, actually, so I would have to give the Express 101 a 
thumbs up. And remember, if you like what you saw here, uh, if you like these types of videos, let me know in the comments and I'll try to make more of them. If y'all want to see me kind of struggle in the kitchen, then just let me know. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube jazz the YouTubers always say. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we will be uh, ordering ourselves a barbecue grill and trying to grill fish. I don't know what the point of me saying that was, but sure. Have a good night, everybody.